Hello and welcome to this tutorial, which is all about how we configure WAN encapsulation. Specifically, we're going to look at HDLC and PPP. If you haven't yet, please take a moment to check out the tutorial on HDLC and PPP, which is more about the details and the concepts behind these two protocols. It's more of your background information, whereas here we're going to actually focus on configuration steps. Okay, so these are two layer two protocols. HDLC is high level data link control and PPP is point to point and these are used oftentimes on leased lines. So as a network administrator, you're going to have to know how to configure a leased line to use one of these two protocols. You'll be glad to know that the process is relatively simple. So let's go ahead and jump on a router and get started. So from the router, let me first show you what interfaces we have available to us show IP interface brief, and you can see we have one serial interface, serial 00. So that's the one we're going to look at. So let's take a look at the interface itself, show interface serial 00, and what I want to point out to you is right here. When you issue that command, you will always be told what encapsulation is currently being used on the interface. Now here it is HDLC, and remember Cisco uses HDLC as the default layer two protocol on its serial interfaces. So if you want to use HDLC between two Cisco routers, you don't have any configuration steps to worry about uh, in terms of layer two protocols. That's pretty good. But let's say we wanted to change this over to PPP. Well, what we do is we jump into configuration mode and then we have to jump into the specific interface configuration mode. Here it's serial zero zero. And the command we want is encapsulation. And if I show you the available parameters, you can see we have a few to choose from. HDLC and PPP are among the choices. All we would have to do is select PPP and hit enter and jump out of configuration mode. And now let's take a look at the interface. So there's a few interesting things to point out here. First, you can see encapsulation is now set to PPP. Now notice when we were in configuration mode, we did not enter the command no encapsulation in order to remove the original HDLC configuration. All you have to do is just restate it and it'll overwrite whatever is currently on there. So that's why just entering the command encapsulation PPP was sufficient to change the encapsulation. But now look at the serial line status. It's up, but the line protocol is down. When we first looked at it, it was up, up. That brings up an important point, which is both sides of a serial link must use the same encapsulation. So we started off with HDLC and I changed this side and it actually brought down the layer two protocol because now we're not using the same thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the running configuration for this interface. Show run interface serial 00. And you can see here it is stated encapsulation PPP. Well, let's go ahead and change this back now to HDLC. And all we have to do to do that is jump back into configuration mode, go back to the interface, and type encapsulation HDLC. And that's it. Now let's take a look at our running configuration. And you can see it doesn't say encapsulation PPP or encapsulation HDLC. That's because this is a default configuration, so it's not necessarily shown. You should just know this, that the default is HDLC. Let's take a look at the interface itself. And here we have it. Encapsulation is now set back to HDLC. And if you notice at the top, the protocol is now up, so the serial interface is now up, up. And that's it. That's how easy it is to change the encapsulation on a serial interface. So when I said it was an easy process, I really wasn't kidding. So let's summarize. We now know that HDLC is the default on Cisco serial interfaces. So if you don't want to even mess with encapsulation, if you're using two Cisco devices, you can just know right off the bat that HDLC is going to be used. The command we looked at is the encapsulation command, and that is in interface configuration mode. And after that, the parameter would be either HDLC or PPP.
And then in order to verify our work, we can take a look at the show interface command, or we can check out the running configuration for the interface. Okay, so that's it. That is how we go about configuring WAN encapsulation, HDLC, and PPP. Thanks for watching.